Hey guys, I don't typically do this kind of stuff. I'm normally the guy behind the camera, but I've been pretty heavily inspired by Moorfield out in Florida, super cool stuff. I'll link them somewhere in the video so you can check them out. He also shoots on a Canon C70 and he his tips has helped me out a lot. So I figured, you know, I'm on the, I'm on the West Coast and maybe whatever I go through or my experiences freelancing as a videographer, maybe could help you out the way Morefield has helped me out. And today we just have a one person interview with two cameras and it should be pretty fun. There's a tenant office that was rented out uh, for four hours and there's a big, there's a lot of, there's a big window in the back. So, you know, we're gonna set it up with uh, lights to make sure that you can see out of it and the back isn't, the windows aren't blown out. Um, so yeah, we will set up lights, uh, audio, and get the camera rolling should be fun and we'll see we'll see how it goes i just met up with the client uh, he's a very cool guy we or he rented a an office space so that that way you know looks very professional and that's the setting that he wanted to use and so um but it's kind of like like in an apartment complex type thing i guess it's like a conference room you could rent out but we're kind of having some issues with getting in and his phone doesn't have a lot of service and there isn't really anybody in the like downstairs office for the for the complex so we're trying to figure that out uh, i do have a lot of gear but i also have a little cart like it's like a i guess you call it like a, a hand truck that turns into a cart so that, that way you can push everything around you know with, with clients or work you know time is um of the essence and you have to be efficient so because there's a lot of stuff and not just my backpack and the tripod, you know, and especially I don't know how far the parking is or what level we'll be on. You know, we want to make sure that everything gets done in one trip, two trips at the most to, so we wouldn't, we don't want to waste time, especially because the office is rented out for four hours. So we want to make sure we make the best of our time. So we found the parking spot and now we're loading the hand truck. And you know, this thing comes in clutch so much because of the fact that you can load everything onto it, especially when you're by yourself and you're going pretty far or you don't know where you're going. Doing multiple trips not only is exhausting, but you don't want to waste clients time, especially in this case, because the room was rented, right? The client spent money. So honestly, I would always prefer to wait on the client than the client wait on me. But we got everything done on one trip, so it all worked out. Here I am just setting up the room, um, talking to the clients. You know, we had just met a few minutes ago, just laughing, joking, and getting everything ready. And everything was pretty smooth. Uh, I like to have everything organized, so when it's time to work, it's easy and straightforward. All right, so this is the room used for the video. It's a pretty nice little office, but it is kind of small. It does have tall ceilings, but there are no lights in this room. I mean, there are, but they might as well not be there. They're of no help to us. And um, this video is also an e-learning. So it's more of an educational video than it is uh, an interview. So that's why he's in the middle of the frame. But yeah, here's the Canon C70 and the Canon 5D. They're both on sticks. And yeah, the only source of light is this big window, which is cool. But, you know, you kind of need something to light him up so that you can see out the window because you don't want to blow out the sky. You don't want it to just be extremely bright. But, yeah, it's basically the whole setup. I had an Aperture uh, 300X bike color, which is very nice, and two LED panels to, you know, fill him up, to fill up the front of him. And, um, yeah, my one note is when you get a chance, you know, try to be neat. I didn't really get a chance in this scenario or maybe I wasn't paying attention, but first impressions count, right? Luckily, I hit it off with the client. We were really cool. We were joking, laughing the entire time. Um, so we had a good time, but I would say, you know, again, first impressions are really important. So even if it takes a second just to put everything to the side, right? You don't have to close everything up or wrap it up. If you can, I would recommend it, but just put it off to the side so it looks very neat. Um... And that's basically it. This is the setup, a two camera setup with the um, shotgun mic, the Sennheiser MKE 600. And he had a wireless lavalier to, I guess, his redundancy. I like to use 
the shotgun mic just in case anything happens but yeah this is kind of the setup and i'll show you now what it looks like with no lights and with lights now this shot has absolutely no lights in the room it's just a camera super high iso trying to fill them up but as you can see the background is blown out completely and honestly it just looks awful so this is an unedited version with the lights off and it has more or less the correct camera settings to showcase the background but it still looks bad but we're almost there this is the final result this is basically example two but with the lights on and with some tweaking involved so that you know i fixed the color so that's more flattering for the client and i also made it so you can see how the window it's not completely blown out the sky is but you can see the buildings you can see the trees everything looks good um yeah the client was very happy with the final result so that makes me a happy camper uh, ideally it would have been great to actually see the blue sky but i would have needed much more lighting equipment but for this case scenario it was perfect um with what we were trying to achieve and it worked out in the end uh, i would say if possible if you can supply two cameras for a job or if there's budget for it I would highly recommend it because it's a great way to hide cuts or transitions or multiple takes because you could just go from one camera to the other and you can't really tell when there was a different take or a cut. So something to keep in mind. In this clip, I wanted to show you what it looked like with no lights versus lights, kind of in a live effect feeling as opposed to a before and after photo. But there's something else in this video. Can you spot the rookie move of the LED panel reflection in the window in the background? Yeah, that was there the whole time. You probably didn't notice it, but I mean, that's a good thing. Uh, I just got rid of them. I was a little upset that I didn't notice it when I was there, and I only noticed it in post. Um, but there were two saving graces here, right? Saving grace one was the fact that the camera was on sticks, right? It was on a tripod, and it was a static shot. So it was easy just to grab the shot and put it in photoshop photoshop it out and grab the mask and throw it on top no one would be the wiser i assume you didn't notice it this entire time until i pointed it out and the other saving grace was the second camera angle right sometimes he made hand gestures and his hand would go over the mask and having the second grace the second angle would just you just show that part right you wouldn't no one would be the wiser and it was perfect it was a perfect solution for a dumb mistake right because if this was a moving picture a moving shot there'd be no way it would have been impossible and it all worked out in the end but you know it only takes one second take a step back and make sure that the shot is what it's supposed to look like you'll be very happy with yourself knowing that you won't have to pull your hairs out when you get back home and you're looking through the footage and you realize that it would have taken five seconds to fix this problem. All right, so here I am wrapping everything up. Uh, the video shoot went great. Client was very happy with the end results, and that's it. If you enjoy watching this stuff, then let me know. Maybe I'll make more of them. Um, again, shout out to Morfield. He's a very talented videographer, and I'll link him below um, in the description. Uh, I really enjoy watching his behind the scene production, business end of stuff. He Some of his tips have tugged me out a lot. And I figured, well, maybe I could do some of the same stuff. And if I could help you, that'd be great. You know, I would showcase my mistakes or my thoughts. And if they could help you, then I guess I've done my job. And that's it. I guess I'll link my stuff somewhere here so you can check it out. And let me know what you think. I guess I'll see you around on the next one.